Welcome back to ABC2 Sports presentation of the greatest game. And here's your final press box fact of the game. In 1958, there were 12 NFL teams, each worth about a million dollars. Today, the NFL has 32 teams, each worth about a billion dollars. Ah, the money has changed. You know, you know, the money has changed, guys, but the fans' love for the game hasn't changed. In 58, they loved the Colts. In 2008, they love the Ravens. Well, that's the special significance of this game is what it did nationally to the value of the NFL moniker. This is the game that created what is the modern NFL. And look at the Hall of Famers that came out of it. Run, wow. run the roster down. Uh, if, if you were at the 58 game, you got to see Canton run up and down the field <laughs> because the cold Hall of Famers, Raymond Berry, Art Donovan, Gino Marchetti, Lenny Moore, Jim Parker, John Unitas, and Coach Weeb Eubank. Giants Hall of Famers included Rosie Brown, played at Morgan State, Frank Gifford, Sam Huff, Don Maynard, we think of him more with the Jets and, and Namath, Andy Robustelli, Emlyn Tunnell, and they had a couple of pretty good assistant coaches, Vince Lombardi and Tom Landry. Who were those guys? Yeah, yeah. Pretty right. good assembly of talent when you think how small the rosters were back then. One of no your question. guys, Barry Levinson, who started here at Channel 2 as a prop boy. Look, what, whatever happened to him? <laughs> well, you know, that, that is what made that game and the Colts meaning, meaning in the grand scheme of the National Football League Almost iconic it was his use of the Colts marching band song during the wedding scene oh, in the beautiful diner. Beautiful scene. <laughs> yeah, it's a, very tasteful. What is what that is song? That? Very tasteful. Very <laughs> tasteful. <laughs> you gotta love that scene. But that was that was Baltimore and what that was all about. And it's amazing. Uh, on the radio show this week, the calls we were getting of, hey, I had a piece of the goalpost. My dad took me to the airport when I was four or five years old, and people really grabbing that chunk of their lives. And everybody's <laughs> coming up to you, Stan, on the street, and they're just reliving it all over again through their grandfather, through their dad. You know, I had down. somebody come up and bought a copy of Sudden Life. They wanted me to autograph it because they were giving it as a gift to a girl who was born on the day uh, of the game, 50 years yeah. ago. When you think about it, it, it was the perfect storm because, as we said, it was New York, the media capital of the world. It was John Unitas, who's in the conversation as the greatest player in the history of the game. It was this Baltimore Colts thing that was just happening against the Big Bad. And we read the stats earlier. The Colts with the big offense in the league that year. The Giants with the big defense. Sam Huff and all those people. And it all came together. And then you throw in overtime, the first overtime in the history. It had it all. It had it all. Uh, and when the Ravens beat the Giants in your call with Brandon Stokely catching that ball, man, everybody got choked up because they knew. Yeah, they, they knew the Ravens were headed where the Colts had been in 58. And, and I, you, you know what? Maybe all this wouldn't mean as much to us now if we didn't go through the 12 years of losing our football team and the memories that, that uh, went in the middle of the night to Indianapolis. I, I agree with you. You know, it's amazing that ESPN show that was on a couple weeks back, the greatest game ever played, Raymond Berry pointing out, how you don't know how it was made in heaven, but the Colts win the Super Bowl 48 years after yeah. the Giants, Giants win 59. It would be kind of interesting if it was the Colts and the Giants in the 50th anniversary of that game. Yeah, and so somebody said the NFL really should have jumped on this opportunity. Yankee Stadium is sitting. That's the other part of this story. Yankee Stadium's getting ready to go into history. They maybe they, the maybe they should have Super Bowl should have been at Yankee well, Stadium. Oh, maybe they should have sc scheduled the Colts and Giants on a Sunday night game at the old no, Yankee it Stadium. It should have been the Giants and the Ravens, and the Ravens get to wear their throwback uniforms. I like that. To the Colts. I like that. Huh? Yeah. I don't think Indianapolis would have voted so for that. I don't think so either, right? <laughs> hey, thanks for being part of this thing. It's been a lot of fun yes, to relive a great moment in Baltimore sports history, and actually in American sports history, the Colts and the Giants, the greatest game ever played.